Hello, everyone. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Okay, let's wait one minute just for some people that are logging in right now. Okay. Okay, hello everyone. Good evening. Let's do attendance. Okay, Ada, Ada Susana. Present teacher. Ana Maria Chacon. Ana Maria Chacon. Carla. Ivania. Present teacher. Carlos Armando Duarte. Okay. Eh, Claudia Marisela. Débora Raquel Soto. Débora Raquel. Present. Okay, thank you. Elvi Martinez. Present. Fatima López. Present. Fernando Ernesto. Present. Jose Antonio Cubías. Jose Antonio Cubías. Jose Saúl González. Present. Carla Jené Amaya. Present. Luis Umaña. Present. Miguel Ángel Paz. Present. Miriam Carolina. Present. René Alfonso Madrid. Present. Rina Álvarez. Rina Álvarez. Uh, Sabrina Latín. Present. Sandra Lese Brosorto. Present. William Alexander. Present. Ok. Isela Liliana. Present. Karina Beatriz. And Jocelyn Rivas. Present. Ok, a uh, personas que no llamé, tal vez acaban de incorporar. Ana María Chacón. Carlos Armando Duarte. Claudia Marisela Solano. José Antonio Cubías. Present. Ok. And uh, Rina Álvarez. Ok, very good, guys. Let's go ahead and continue. All right, let me share with you what I'm going to do. All right, so we're, today we are in class number nine, unit number two. Today, let me change the date, is the third, June 3rd. Very good, we are on unit number two. So today, uh, students will be able to read collection schedules, collective schedules, showing basic and common tasks in a restaurant and talk about schedule activities at my work. All right, so we're going to do some projects today um, and then uh, we're going to continue with the book. All right, the first project that we're going to do is we're going to, um, one more time, we're going to read one of the following graphs. This is a sales promotion for 2021. I have four companies here. I have iPhone, Sony, LG, and Samsung, okay? Uh, this is the different activities that they're doing for promotions. Promociones de venta que están ofreciendo. Offer extended warranty, offer rebate, offer zero interest, offer discount. Okay. Extended warranty, están ofreciendo una garantía extendida. ¿Sí? Eh, offer rebate. A, a rebate is, for example, some kind of prime or a promotion or something, right? Que más tenemos? A offer interest rates, zero interest rates, right? Por veces cuando compras algo de la curazao te dicen cero intereses, okay? Or offer discount. Okay, excellent. Questions? 
All right. Now, this is what we're going to do. Esto es lo que quiero que hagan ustedes, todos. Primero vamos a planear, después vamos a hablar, ¿sí? Después vamos a ir a los grupos. So, vamos a planificar primero. Lo primero que vamos a hacer es crear, ustedes van a crear ahorita cinco preguntas. ¿Ok? Vamos a crear cinco preguntas primero. Cada quien tiene que hacer cinco preguntas. ¿Ok? Voy a mostrar el graph aquí. Les voy a dar cinco minutos y ustedes van a crear cinco preguntas. Después van a ir a su grupo con esas preguntas. Y ustedes van a preguntar. ¿Ok? So primero es que se armen de preguntas y después vayan al grupo a preguntar. ¿Sí? All right. Questions? Preguntas? <laughs> All right. Les voy a dar cinco minutos. Eh, no las tienen que poner en el chat. Quiero que ustedes las escriban ahí un papelito. Escríbanlas allí. Right? ¿Se acuerdan las preguntas que hicimos usando esto? How often? How often? How often does, for example, Sony offer a discount? Ahí está la pregunta. Fácil. Okay. How often does Sony offer a discount? ¿Sí? Quiero que hagan cinco cada uno. Va a cinco minutos. Tienen cuatro. Two minutes, two minutes.
Okay, very good. Okay, let's go to groups, right? I'm going to give you the picture. I, I'm going to put it right now in the in the group so that you guys can have it. Um, I'm going to put it there in WhatsApp. All right, there you go. I put the picture in the group. I want you to go with your questions and I want you to ask other people, okay? Hello, Jocelyn, uh, please go to your group. Ivania, how often does iPhone offer extended warranty? Um, um, iPhone offer extend warranty by time by time you can say for, five times a year because that that calendar i mean that graph is for the whole year okay for year but it's one time yeah five, five times time. five times for year Offer extended warranty. No, no, pues no lo está leyendo bien. No, no, no. No lo está leyendo bien. Yeah, sorry, sorry. Yes, iPhone, iPhone. offer extended warranty. Uh -huh. One. One time. One time. One time. For you. ¿Se acuerdan cómo hablamos? ¿Cómo decir once and twice? Yeah. No se dice one time. Se dice once a year. Once a year. Uh -huh. Okay. Ya, ya cuando llegamos ya de tres en adelante, ¿sí? Three times, four times, five times. It's a number, okay? Una um, y dos, ¿cómo se dice? Una y dos. Once. Once. Twice. And, and twice, correct. Okay. Okay, William. Um, how often that Sony offer rebate? How often? How often does Sony offer rebate? How often does Sony offer rebate? Okay. Sony, this is orange. This two. Okay, Sony. Sony offers rebate three times a year. Okay. 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 Mm -hmm. Deborah, your question? Okay. My question. Okay. How often does um, iPhone offer discount? iPhone. Okay. iPhone does offer offers discount twice a year. Creo que creo que yo me confundí al principio, ¿verdad? Que das no va en la respuesta, ¿verdad? Ah, uh, no. Solo que es negativa, ¿verdad? Sí, no. sí, sí. Yo me confundí. Das es solo bien. para negativa. Diciendo, ¿Cómo lo estaba diciendo de al principio estaba bien? Entonces, entonces sería. Ajá. Uh -huh. iPhone iPhone offers discount twice a year. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 Yeah. Okay. Um. How often does? Uh, 
how often does iPhone extend, no, how often does iPhone offer extend warranty? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mm -hmm. uh, iPhone offers extend guarantee once uh, a year. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Next. Next question. How often does LG offer discount? Offer discount. Mm. Uh, um, six, six months a year. Okay. okay. Next. How often does Sansu offer uh, this discount? Samsung discount. Samsung offers discount um five five months and year a year a year yes okay thank you and then how often does sony us uh offer rebate offer rebate sony yeah sony offers rebate um three three months a year Ok, okay. Eh, so, solo la, la forma que lo están diciendo al ah. final, si estoy diciendo tres meses al año, three months per year. For year. For year. No, for no. Ah. Pueden usar three months a year or three months per year. Ok. All right, let me see. Let, mm. me, let me show you. Hold on. Aquí está. Ok. Mm -hmm. So, estamos aquí. Right? Solo okay. que el three times a year. Now, pueden cambiar esta times y poner mm -hmm. months, los meses, ¿sí? Está bien. Mm -hmm. You can say mm -hmm. exactly. three months per year. Ok. Uh, per, o per hay year. otra forma también, three, three months a year. También pueden usar a, a. Okay. Okay. a pero okay. no pueden no pueden usar for, tampoco pueden usar at, que es lo que escuché que estaban haciendo. Sí, sí, al final lo dije yo. Mm -hmm. Ok, so three months per year or three months a year, both are ok. Ok. Right. Thanks. For year. Anos. Elvin, how, how often does Samsung offer extended warranty? To stay mute, Elvin. Oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> sorry, yeah. sorry. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, repeat, please, that question. Okay. How often does Samsung offer extended warranty? Uh, Samsung offers extended warranty um, uh, twice. Uh, a year, a year. A year. Okay, next. How often does iPhone offer zero percent interest? Interest. Okay. Interest. 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 I, I, iPhone offers uh, zero percent interest. Um, let me see. Uh, 
I don't I don't see the well the colors. Let me see. Okay. Uh, once I a year. Once. I'm so bad. Yes. Yes, it's correct. Yes. It's okay. correct. Thank you. Continue. Okay. How often does LG offer? Yeah, sorry. <laughs> okay. Very good. Questions? Okay. Let me ask you a question then. How often does LG offer promotions? Offer promotions. Uh, LG offer promotion. Uh, to be specific, sorry. Offer discount. How often does LG offer discount? LG. LG. LG offer discounts. The LG offer discount the three months a year. Okay. LG offers discounts. Three uh, times a year. Three times a year. Okay, very good. How often does iPhone offer rebates? iPhone offer rebates. Five times a iPhone year. Offer. iPhone offers rebates uh, five times a year. Correct, correct. Five times a year. Okay. okay. How often does Samsung offer discounts? The Samsung offer discount uh, five times a year. Excellent. Very good. Very good job. Okay, questions? No, teacher. All right. We're going to go back now to the group, okay? Okay, teacher. Okay, very good, excellent guys. All right, any questions about that exercise, right? Very good. Pudieron hacer preguntas, respuestas, sí? Right? All right. Yes, teacher. Okay, very good. All right. Um, remember, uh, how do you say uh, tres veces al año? Remember. Empecemos con una vez al año, right? We don't say one time a year, right? We say? Once a year. Once a year, excellent. What about two? Twice a year. Twice a year. Twice a year, Twice a year. okay, excellent. Very good. For example, uh, how often does iPhone offer rebates? Let's go back. Let's go back to the picture. Let me see. Let's go back to the picture. Okay. Here is our picture. How often does iPhone offer rebates? iPhone offers rebates. iPhone offers rebates. A year. 
Five times a year. Very good. Okay, excellent, excellent. All right. So uh, I want to go to the next activity now. Okay, let me explain the next activity that we're going to do. Okay. First of all, let's recall the vocabulary about uh, work activities that you can do, different type of work activities at ah, in a restaurant. Number one, repeat after me sit the customers. Sit the customer. Sit the customer. Sit the customer. Wait on the tables. Create a menu. Manage the restaurant. Schedule tables. Wait on the table. Wait on the table. Wait on tables. Okay. Hagamos una cosa. Eh, apaguemos el micrófono todos so, y ustedes tienen que repetir ahí, ¿ok? Porque si no, no me van a escuchar tampoco yo a ustedes. Set the customer. Repeat. Ok. Pero cierren el micrófono y repiten ahí donde están. Ustedes repitan ahí. Set the customers. Schedule tables. Wait on, wait on tables. Create a menu. Manage the restaurant. Handle the payment. Take orders. Serve drinks. Cook the food. Clean the restaurant. Do the payroll. Offer valet parking. Okay. Very good. All right. Review, review. So no te repasando, se lo vimos. El lunes, creo. Sí, el lunes. Okay, very good. Now, this is the project that we're going to do. Okay, let's go now to uh, the next section. What, what is, ahí le falta una palabra. What is the estimated time an employee works a day in your workplace? Does everybody have this, this a specific schedule to follow? Right? Very good. Does everybody have a specific schedule to follow in your work? Yes, the answer is yes, right? Everybody has a schedule, okay? I want to show you here what we're going to do. Ustedes van a crear un schedule for employees, okay? Working groups created an employee schedule. The people in your group will be the employees, see? So cada uno de ustedes en su grupo va a tener un trabajo, right? For example, cashier, no sé, eh, Ada puede ser el cashier. Eh, Miguel, you can do the inventory. Eh, Roberto, you can do security. Um, let's see, um, Sabrina, you can do finances. Uh, another person, right? Cada quien puede hacer un rol, ¿sí? And then you have to do the schedule. You have to organize the schedule, okay? Now, you can have more than one person in the position. Right? For example, la cashier no va a trabajar todo el día, ¿sí? es decir, no va a trabajar 12 horas, ¿sí? tal vez no. Right? So maybe you can have two people, two cashiers. Okay? You can change it. All right? Uh, Le voy a mostrar un ejemplo que vimos en el libro. Here. Uh, hold on. Where's the example? Aquí está. ¿Recuerdan el ejemplo que vimos ayer? Okay, the schedule. So you can, I want you to create a schedule like this, right? I want you to put the people that you're going to work, right? So, so esta, va, esta va a ser una actividad de grupo grande, ¿sí? Vamos a tener grupos de 10. Okay, why? Because you need a lot of people. For example, cashier. Maybe you need two cashiers, okay? ¿Quién va a ser el manager? Well, tal vez hay un solo manager, right? ¿Quién va a ser lo demás? See, you have to organize the schedules, okay? All right? Esto es lo que van a hacer prácticamente, see? Organize the schedule, okay? Um, let me show you. Let go back. Let's go back now, okay? Here's the schedule. You have to fill out the schedule, okay? 
¿Cómo trabajen? No importa si alguien quiere compartir pantalla, alguien quiere hacer sketch, no sé. En un pedazo de papel, no importa. ¿sí? The thing is that you have to speak and you have to um, explain the, um, the schedule, right? Organize the schedule that you want to work. Okay? Very good. Questions? Okay. You can use from to, remember? Uh, for example, cashier is going to be Ada. She's going to work from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Okay. Very good. Hay posiciones que son bastante extensas. Los horarios son bien, bien extensos. Por ejemplo, security, right? Security tiene que estar ahí todo el día, ¿sí? Um, I don't know. Maybe the manager has to be there all day, you know? Okay. You guys are going to work... Um, Uh, creating your own schedule. Okay, questions? Preguntas? All right, the name of our store es una tienda, aquí se llama H Mart. Okay, that's the name of our store. All right, ¿qué venden, qué hacen? Eso es para ustedes decidir. ¿sí? What do you do? Are you a supermarket? Are you an electronic store? Are you, uh, I don't know, whatever you are, clothes store? Retail store, I don't know. Okay. You guys are going to create the, the, the schedule. Okay. Questions? All right. Okay. Lo pueden hacer en un pedazo de papel. I don't care, right? Like, no lo, la cosa es que ustedes puedan hablar, ¿sí? So I, I want you to, la única regla que existe, English, right? Speak English as much as you can. All right, let's go to groups. Aún ha mandado la imagen el teacher. Ya, ya les mando. Les voy a mandar no solamente una imagen, sino que eh, un, un documento para que lo puedan, puedan escribir ahí. Ok. Ok, open that document. It's a Word document that I sent you. Está en blanco para que ustedes lo puedan anotar, escribir, no sé, como quieran. Okay, share the schedule, whatever you want. Okay, describe what each employee would do, what hours they will work. You can have more than one person in the position. For example, you can have two, two cashiers okay. if you want. All right, so si alguien quiere compartir, lo puede hacer. Uh, les doy acceso. You guys can share if you want. No oigo nada ya. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Hello, me escuchan. Yes, I can hear you well. Okay. 
na escuchaba nada. Okay, yeah. <clears throat> upside down now the the picture and then I I the presentation. Um sorry uh okay Assist, assistant, assistant manager manager me me Fatima okay. was going to be my assistant yeah going to be okay. one, one thing one thing no sé si vieron en, en, la, en las instrucciones it said describe what each person would do this uh, put the schedule that they're going to work you can have two people in the same position for example you can have two cashiers yeah. so okay. remember describe what you're going to do okay solo para vaya vamos a decir los nombres entonces entre los de nosotros quienes podrían ser los que son más más largos Remember to explain what each person is going to do, right? Sí. Okay. Right. Who wanna, who wanna be the cashier or one of cashier? I want to be the cashier. Okay. The, from what time to what time? From... Um, Hey, and to quiero ver el horario extendido. Son 12 horas. Son de 8 a 7 de la noche. In your case, 10 years, 10, 10 hours. No, am, no, am, dividámoslo. Si son de 8 a, quiero ver, a una y de una. Ajá, uh -huh. uh -huh, lo podemos hacer. Uno, dos, tres. Puedes hacer la, la, la cel, las células un poquito más chiquitas cada una. Sí, lo que pasa es de que para que caja por los nombres, nada más lo había hecho más grande. Yeah. Ok. Uh, so, Jocelyn, you're going to be the cashier. What are you going to do? ¿De dónde está dónde? To be. From what time to what time? Son de 8 a 7, son de 8 a 2, son 4, Thanks. 8, son 11 horas prácticamente. Hasta la una. Mm. Yes. Ok. De ahí vamos a tener entonces alguien más hasta las siete. ¿Quién sería el otro? Mi Carlos Duarte. Thank you, Carlos. Me estuvo molestando que dije que trabajo diez horas. <risa> <risa> <laughs> no, teacher, you ask me something. Yes, thank you. 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 Thank Así creo que lo van a lograr ver todo. Yeah. Estamos, va. Va. Eh. Ah, pero por gusto puse esto aquí entonces. Bueno. No, aquí lo voy a dejar así, es que aquí era uno y aquí abajo podía poner el otro solo por para que se viera la diferencia, pero podía dejarlo uno solo. Creo que pueden ser cuatro personas diferentes, no, según el ejemplo. Eso, vamos a tener dos, ajá. Entonces tendría que ser como rotativo. No, digamos de que... <risa> ok. No, dejémoslo así como lo tenía, solo voy a dejar este espacio aquí. Va. Aquí lo hice de dos. Aquí lo he hecho de doble, por ejemplo. Tengo que... Solo voy a dejar el espacio aquí. De, Eliminarlo. Para que quede solo así. Va. O cualquier cosa. Vamos con el inventario. Mantengamos los mismos horarios, ¿no? Mi, Sandra. Ah, no, pero aquí puede. Quiero ver. Ah, va, vamos por los de una sola. Primero, va, vamos a ver. 
Este es el de security de todo el día. ¿A quién le gusta la seguridad? I am security. Who is Elvin? Yeah. Elvin Martínez. Vos cada vez que dicen tu apellido y tu nombre, viejo, me acordás de un bachatero que se llama Elvin Martínez. <laughs> the last name eh, eh, Martín, the, the Martínez is la, the, the last name. Eh. Ajá. Sí, pero tú se escribe Eguizaba, ¿va? Así va. Ya, ya, Eguizaba. Sábado, sí. Ya, yeah, es correcto. Va, estamos. Vamos a hacer esto aquí. Tenemos este, vamos con el manager. ¿Quién quiere ser el manager? Es uno solo. Fernando. Cualquiera. Va, Fernando. Somos ocho, ¿cuántos somos? Cuéntenos, porque no estoy viendo, los he minimizado para no, no, que no me estorbe aquí. Seven, seven. Ahora vemos uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cuatro, yo, yo. faltan tres. Faltan tres, ¿no? Falta Sabrina, Sandra. Ajá. Va, vamos con el inventario. Después los espacios. El inventario, nos faltan, ¿cuántos dijimos? Cuatro, ¿verdad? Somos cuatro ahorita, nos faltan tres, somos siete. Tres, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, aquí quiero ver. No vamos a poder dividir tanto porque solo somos siete. Tendríamos que agarrar horarios, pero el inventario puede tener otro horario diferente, de nueve a. No, de, de, de nueve a cinco, de la, a ocho, a seis de la tarde. ¿Va? ¿Y a las ocho de la nada? No, ajá. Okay. ¿Quién va a hacer el inventario? Sandrita dijo. Sandrita dijo que iba a hacer. Sandra, apellido. Ok, listen, guys. Sandrita, too much, corto. too much Spanish. Están hablando oh, yeah. español. Esto no es una actividad de español. This is English. Speak. Yes. ¿Cuál es okay, tu okay. nombre? Sorry. ¿Cuál es tu nombre en español? No, come on, guys. What is your name? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Come on, guys. Uh, who wanna be the, the finance? For example, yeah. mm -hmm. Me. You, okay, Anna. Me. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Responsibility. Security. Security? Mm -hmm. Yes, because today I work for 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. <laughs> My schedule is oh. for non schedule. 8 a.m.? Yes, 8 a.m. From 8 a.m. From 2 7 p.m. 2 8 p.m. Yeah. Because I have a lot of work in calibration. With security. It's like security. Apagas la luz y cerrar la puerta. Porque nadie está Ariana. Apagas esa luz y la del patio y cerrar la puerta. Ya. Next. Um. Finance Department William, no, okay. You, you were a human, a human report. Finance Department, yes, William. Who is the responsibility? William, William. Yeah. Uh, Okay, and who... uh -huh. to, to, fit to 6 or 5 p.m. Ah. A los de la oficina siempre <laughs> salen temprano, entonces es que de 8 a 4. <laughs> eight, uh, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. It's okay. 5 p.m., okay. No, 
Alexander. Eh, last name. Ramírez. Okay. Pero de la jornada completa. Who is that? Who is, who is manager? Who is manager? Who manager? Who is 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 Mm -hmm. No. Ah, yo Roberto, I, I give, nai, nai I give the example. I give the example. Mm -hmm. Roberto, nai uh, from nai am to to four p.m. <laughs> no, no. From a a.m. to seven p.m. <laughs> oh. A very responsible manager. <laughs> the last night. Assistant manager. Robert, your last name? Umania. Okay. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Assistant manager. Who is my assistant? Who is assistant manager? Um, Debra, Claudia, Debra, Maria. Mm. Uh, we have uh, 10 minutes. A las nueve vamos a parar esta actividad. Uh, I want you to take, uh, do this, hagan esto. Manden el documento al grupo de WhatsApp. Okay. When you finish. Okay. Y, y yo lo voy a abrir y lo vamos a compartir. Okay. Y ustedes van a... Eh, tienen que explicar qué van a hacer y de qué hora, qué hora van a trabajar. Okay. Hey, uh, when, when you're finished, we're, gonna, we're going to stop at nine. When you're finished, send a picture in WhatsApp, okay? Okay, okay. And then we're going to share. Be, be ready to explain what you're each going to do. What, what is going to be your schedule and responsibility? Okay. Tom, uh, take, take the screenshot of the... Yeah, you can, you can take a screenshot and put it in the group. We're, we're going to stop at nine. We're going to present at nine, okay? Oh, okay, uh, in the WhatsApp group. Yeah, take a picture and you put it in WhatsApp group. Okay. Be, ready, be ready to explain your responsibility and your schedule. So everybody, cada quien, has to uh, explain your responsibility and schedule. We have to, to do a task uh, hour by hour. Eh, not, eh, cada quien tiene que saber qué va a hacer. Like, uh, for example, what, are, what is the crochet going to do? Oh, okay. uh, like yesterday. Uh -huh. What are you going to do? Right? Mm -hmm. I am resp I'm, I'm, uh, check the inventory, eh, make sure the products are in the company. I don't know. Okay. Receive the products. Ahorita las pongo. Vamos a ver. Ahí está. Uh, 
Hey, what happened? No veo nada. Yeah. Ah, there you go. I changed my ah, window ah, to, okay, to okay. send the screenshot. Ah, okay, okay. No problem. No problem. That, I got it. I got sounds... it. Okay, okay, we got it there. It looks good. It looks good. Okay. Uh, you should practice your your uh, your part, right? What are you going to do? Explain what you're going to do in the company and explain uh, your schedule. Okay. Uh, can, 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 cashier can, can start, cashier can start the, who's the cashier, who's the first cashier, the first cashier is uh, Jocelyn, okay, Jocelyn, uh, explain, what are you going to do and what's going to be your schedule? Okay, I am going to be in charge to get the uh, payments from customer mm -hmm. from the service that they they already received. And my schedule will be from eight eight a.m. to one p.m. Okay, very good, excellent. Next, the next cashier, Me? Carlos. Carlos Duarte. Um, um, sorry, my schedule is schedule starting 2 p.m. and finally 7 p.m. Okay, what are you going to do? What's your what's your what do you do in the company? Um, I do. I do, ay, no sé cómo hacerlo. Ah, no, ahí viene la parte, ahí viene la parte. Like yesterday, Carlos, you can say, uh -huh. what, what, you, what do you do from a specific time to another specific time? Okay, um, always check, check inventory or check, Shake that cashier? <laughs> no, revisar el, revisar el cajero. No, no. O sea, como revisar este, como le, revisar la, la, como le dijeron. ¿Cuánto hay de dinero o algo así en, en, en la caja? ¿Cómo sería? Ah, oh, <laughs> ¿Cómo le pueden ayudar ustedes? Eh, you have to verify how much money a uh, are it is in the cashier first. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Verify how much money you have. How much money? How much money? Okay. Um, um, okay. <laughs> no sé qué decirle, de verdad. Ah, Estoy bloqueado que... ahorita. All Estoy right. bloqueado ahorita. Está bloqueado. What happened? Activities. Estamos hablando en el simple present, right? Yes. Uh -huh. What does a cashier do? All right. Next, I piénsala and go to the next person. Think about okay. it, Carlos. Prepare it. Okay. Okay. Sandra. Yeah. What do you do at work? In the inventory, I must register the purchase. Assist, assistant manager. Assistant manager is. is OK. Yes. Entonces, eh, si te hacen preguntas, vas a hablar sobre qué es lo que realizas como a assistant manager en the H market. Eh, it's a market, a tienda. I'm going to ask you. What, I'm going to ask you. What do you do? What do you do? Right. That's that's the question I'm going to ask you. What do you do? Okay. What activities do you do? Uh -huh. Look, yeah, the same question. Mm -hmm. What activities do you do? What do you do? Mm -hmm. So, for example, assistant manager. I supervise the workers. I take the inventory, I uh, I create the schedule, I don't know, you have to think about. Okay. 
Okay, hey, we have three minutes and we're gonna go back. Three minutes. Okay. Solo quiero mandar la foto al grupo. Okay. Ya tiene cada uno su cargo para que haga lo, lo que va a hacer, ¿verdad? So I have to stitch across the top of this before we start putting it all together. Can you use the little rougher? Okay, very good. We're going to present, but uh, I want to take attendance first. Ada Susana. Present teacher. Okay. Santa Maria Chacon. Carla Ivania. Present. Carlos Armando Duarte. Present. Claudia Maricela Solano. Present, teacher. Débora Raquel Soto. Present. Elvi Martinez. Present. Uh, Fátima López. Present. Fernando Ernesto. Present. Fernando Ernesto. OK. José Antonio. Present. José Saúl. Present. Carla Jenea Amaya. Present. Luis Umaña. Present. Miguel Ángel Paz. Present. Present. Miriam Carolina. Present. René Alfonso. Present. Lina Álvarez. Present. Sabrina Latín. Present teacher. Sandra Elizabeth. Present. William Alexander. Present. Uh, Isela Liliana. Isela. Sorry, teacher. Present. Me. Karina Beatriz. And Jocelyn Rivas. Jocelyn. I think that 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 she she had issues because the. The meeting was disconnected. She is asking okay. me about it. Okay, all right. So let's go to, I want to go to the groups. Uh, let's look at the pictures that you put, right? Number one, okay, so this is the first group. Uh, can you see the picture? Yes. Okay, excellent. Um, uh, this is, the, this is uh, the first group that sent it, okay? All right, very good. Uh, this group is, Jocelyn, Carlos, Sandra, Elvi, Sabrina, Latin, Fernan, eh, Fernando, and Carolina. Okay, eh, los demás en mute, please. Okay. Okay, very good. Uh, Jocelyn, I'm going to ask you, what do you do and what is your schedule? Dos preguntas fáciles. ¿sí? What do you do and what is your schedule? Uh, Jocelyn, what do you do in the company and what is your schedule? Jocelyn, hello, hello, todos estén listos, please, para ir rápido. Teacher, Jocelyn no está. Ah, se fue. Acaba I de... think that Jocelyn is still having issues with the, okay. I don't know, with the internet or, or I don't ah, know. But... Ah, sí, 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 me dijeron. Ok, sí, sí. Okay. ok, Carlos Duarte. Ok. What do you do in the company and what is your schedule? Um, 
My schedule is my chief start at 2 p.m. and end at 7 p.m. And my responsibility is to verify how much money I have available and receive people with, who visit us every day. Okay, Only excellent. That. Very good, excellent. Uh, Sandra Osorto, what is your responsibilities in the company? Okay. I the inventory, I must register the purchases and sales of the products, prepare invent, uh, inventory reports. Okay, very good. Register, register. Register. Mm -hmm, correct. Because and what is your schedule? Here. What is your schedule? Um, we can't hear you, Sandra. No le escuchamos. Está en mute. Okay. Uh, I am work from uh, 9 a.m. to 7 uh, p.m. in the company Cyber in MC. Okay. I am work. I am work. No. Ah, Simple sorry, sorry. present. I work. I work. I work. Very good. Simple present. Okay. Uh, alguien dijo, Teacher, Jocelyn, I'm here. you're there? Yes, yeah, sorry, I was the coach here. Yes, I'm here. What do you do in the company? Okay, I am part of Cyber Inc. I am working for the moment in a uh, for a cashier. And my schedule is from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. I am in charge of verify the payment from customer and receive the payments from them from the service that they receive. Okay, very good, very good. Say, repeat after me, I am in charge. I am in charge. I am in charge. Charge, okay. Charge. Very good, Thank okay. You. Next person is Elvin. Hi, I am a security in my company. I work from 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. I, I always start at work uh, 8 a.m. Uh, my my work is very heavy because I stand stand up uh, every day. Uh, I take care of the staff and the client, uh, the company, and I wel welcome uh, all the people in the door. Okay, your schedule. Uh, I is, um, uh, a, a, a m from 7 p.m. Okay. I work from? I work from 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. There you go. Okay. Very good. Finance, uh, Sabrina, what do you do in the company? Okay. I am... Um... I am in charge for the economic part of the company. I am also responsible for making the payment to which the company itself is obligated, as well as, as well as the management of the expenses and income item that it has. Now my schedule is from a.m. to 4 p.m. Okay. All right, excellent, good job. Uh, Fernando, what do you do in the company? Uh, I am a manager in Cibar Inn, at Cibar, at Cibar Inn. Uh, I start at work from uh, 8 a.m. and to 7 p.m. I am in charge of uh, supervising all the departments and all the employees. Okay, very good, very good. All right, I am, I am in charge, remember? I am in charge. No, I am. You can say, I am in charge. contraction. I'm in charge. I'm in charge. I'm in charge. Okay. Very I'm good. And the last person is uh, uh, Carolina. What do you do in the company? Carolina, are you here? You? Yeah. I, I work for a moment, uh, assistant manager. Um, I am to uh, 4 p.m. Okay. My, my responsible uh, check the 
agent, my boss, ask for the telephone, check the mediums, check the emails, prepare reports. Okay, very good, very good, uh, Miriam, excellent. Okay, uh, let me go to the next picture. Uh, this picture here is Rene, Miguel, Carla, Jose, and Jose, uh, Isabella, and Fatima. Okay. Hey, tell me, Rene, what do you Isabella. I don't know who Isabella is. No sé. I don't know. Isabella. Isabella. Where? Isabella. Ah, no, no, perdón. Okay. Isabella. Isela and Fatima. Okay. okay. Rene, what do you do in the company? Uh, I am the cashier. cashier. My job is to receive money, pay for the money, check and money order. Uh, my schedule, 8 a.m. from 1 p.m. 8 a.m. from 1 p.m.? Mm -mm. No. I am to 1 p.m. From? From 8 a.m.? From 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. There you go. Okay. Uh, Miguel, tell me, what do you do in the company? Okay. Uh, I'm a cashier in the company. I start working from 2 p.m. to 11, no, sorry, 7 p.m. Mm -hmm. I share customer for supermarket products, mm -hmm. and I am in charge of closing the box at the end of the shift. Okay, very good. And Carla, what do you do in the company? Okay, I am in charge of the inventory. I work from 8, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. And I check store stock. I check expiration dates, create a stock report, and send report to the manager. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, Jose Cubias, what do you do in the company? Okay, I am security security the the company. I I keep maintenance uh, security the employees in the companies and I work from an a.m. to 7 p.m. Okay, all right, very good, very good. You can say this, look, Jose, I provide security. I provide, I provide, provide security. security. Provide, okay. Very good, Jose. Saul, what do you do in the company? I am finance in my company. Uh -huh. I go from 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. Um, I check email at 8 a.m. I do the payroll twice a month. Uh -huh. I prepare financial statement once a month. I am um, then I check the cash flow every day. Excellent. Thank you. Jose Saul fue el único que usó los time expressions. <laughs> Excellent. Very good, Jose. You remember, yeah. right? You escucharon? Once, yeah. once a week, yeah. every day, three times a week. Okay, very good. Isela. You did it great. You did a great job. Good job, Jose. Yeah. Okay. Um I'm the manager of this amazing company, and I'm in charge to review a schedule of my employees. And also, I, um, or as I can say, I um, schedule some minutes to verify the the employees' progress and and as, I don't know if I can say necessities. Yeah. Yeah. No. Okay. Or you can say needs, employee needs, needs, needs la necesidad de ellos, needs. Okay, and actually I'm working, I don't know, but I cannot see the, the schedule, but mm -hmm. I think that ah. from 8 a, 9 a.m. Mm -hmm. to 4 p.m. And actually I have a beautiful assistant manager. 
<laughs> and she is in church to do the other things. Okay, very good. Fatima, tell us about your responsibilities in the company. I am a sister manager. Mm -hmm. I schedule from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Mm -hmm. My responsibility is I check the email every day, mm -hmm. uh, I write report, mm -hmm. I send the email. Mm -hmm. Only that? Yes. Okay, all right, very good. Good job, I like it. Okay, let's go to the next, the last picture. All right, this is, uh, well, no sé si pueden, así la voy a dejar porque si no, no van a poder. Okay, very good. Ada, tell us, uh, what do you do in the company? I am a cashier. I am a star are working at 8 a.m., 2 p.m. My, my responsibility is receive the and deliver the cash, checks, or value, and prepare invoice, prepare report. Okay, very good. All right, Deborah, what do you do in the company? Microphone. I think. Hi. Uh -huh. Okay, I am. I am a chair of the cashier from two two p.m. from two p.m. Uh, to seven p.m. Um, I collect payments uh, in cash or credit card. Uh, I call money in cash at the end. Um, I handle cash uh, on credit card transactions with customers. Okay, all right, very good. You can say, I am a cashier. I work mm -hmm. from 1, 8, 1 p.m. to 7 p.m. I am in charge of, I am yes, I think. all right. Very good, very good. Carla? Let me see, teacher. Yeah. Okay, what do you do in the company? Uh, I am inventory department. No, usted no es un departamento de inventario. Uh, <laughs> no, no. Inventory. <laughs> no, no, no puedes decir, yo soy un departamento, no. Right? I work for the inventory department, or I work in the inventory department, right? Okay. I work inventory department. Mm -hmm. um, I um, register the inventory daily. Mm -hmm. uh, verific order purchase. Mm -hmm. Providing the products the products to the sales floor mm -hmm. three times a week. Okay. All right, very good, very good. Eh, algunos están confundiendo el verb to be con el simple present, right? For example, I am a, y aquí ustedes pueden poner su profesión o ocupación, ¿sí? I am a cashier. I am, bueno, ahí puse inventory, pero ahí tendrías que haber puesto una posición, el nombre de una posición, right? I am a manager in the inventory department. Ahí sí, sí. Very good. So, este es el verb to be, right? Ustedes ya lo saben, pero el simple present es para hablar de actividades rutinarias, okay? I check the customers. I do the payroll, okay? Ya estoy usando el simple present, ¿sí? Algunas están confundiendo esas dos cosas. All right, very good. Eh, who else? Ana? Ana María? Ana, Ana? Are you here? No está? <laughs> yeah, 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 teacher. I'm here. What do you do in the company? I am in charge of the inventory. Okay. What else do you do? Mm, I am responsible for registering the arrivals and departures, departures mm -hmm. of products 
to the warehouse every day. Okay. I manage the cardex and I am responsible for placing the orders and reviewing the new product monthly. Excellent. What is your schedule? My work hours are from 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. Excellent. Very good. Very good. Okay. Ya casi terminamos. Claudia? I'm here, teacher. Okay. Yeah. What, yeah. What do you do? Okay. I work for a uh, security person. I had working because I need to turn uh, 12 times a day the home security or camera. And my principal responsibility is to save life of the customer and co-workers and to verify the security of all the, the, the build. And then my uh, schedule is from 2 a.m. from uh, 2 8 p.m. Okay, perfect, perfect. Nice. William, what do you do in the company? Okay, I am in charge of finance department. Uh huh. <laughs> what do you do? <laughs> My schedule is from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Uh, mm -hmm. I do the payroll. I check the cash flow. Sometimes I pay bills and I type reports and send some emails and I type financial documents. Nice. Good. What is your schedule? Uh, my schedule is from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Okay, great, great. Okay, Roberto, two more people, almost finished. Roberto? I am the manager. Oh, and as a good, wow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and as a good leader, I give the example to my employees. For that reason, I work from 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. Mm -hmm. Okay. And what, what are some of your responsibilities? My, my principal responsibilities are supervise the, the employees. Nice. Okay. All right. Very good. And finally, uh, Rina. What do you do in the company? I am assistant. Okay. I am assistant manager. My job is in charge of planning, filing, sometimes coordinating activities, almost in my work. My schedule is from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. Okay. Very good. Very good. Excellent, guys. Now, uh, when you say, um, I am the assistant manager, see? Uh, ¿Por qué? Porque eh, tenés que usar el artículo the, porque es un cargo específico, see? Right? I am them. I am the manager. I am the finance director. I am the head of security, okay? Cuando es un cargo específico, we use the, okay? Very good. Okay, guys, excellent. I like your presentation. I think you all did a great and excellent job, okay? Uh, we're going to go continue with the book, okay? Very good. So we're going to finish here in this part, right? Una vez más, tienen que leer el schedule, okay? And you have to answer these five questions here. Answer the five questions, right? I'm, I'm gonna let you work in groups. Uh, then you're going to write here, you can write five sentences on your own task and ask them to your classmate. Esto ya lo hicimos, ¿sí? Cuando les pregunté aquí, what is your responsibility? Now, lo pueden hacer para que sea un poco más fácil de lo que ustedes hacen, verdaderamente, ¿sí? Lo que verdaderamente hacen en sus trabajos. What do you do at work, at your, at your job? What do you do at your work, okay? You can write five sentences here um, or in, and share them in the group, okay? Very good, let's, let's do this activity in groups. And um, let's work on this for about uh, maybe 10 minutes.
Okay, Anna, if you can go to the group, please. Tengo el internet. Okay. Okay. Okay, guys. What is the page? The page is page 24. 24, okay. You have to look at the schedule that's there and you have to answer the five questions about the schedule. Okay. And then you can uh, finish writing uh, four sen five sentences about what you do. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, guys. Look at the schedule of restaurant and answer the following question. Okay. Who is in charge of waiting tables in the morning shift? In June 2? 22. Page 24. Page 24. Page 24. 24. 24. Yeah. 24. 24. Yeah. Prepare a mini presentation about the show activities for five employees. Do a girl workplace. Create a timetable similar to the one in part three, page 23. No, 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 it's, yeah, we fight. or waiting table. Look, you have to read the graph and answer the questions. Answer the questions below. Here, Oops, five questions. Five questions. Five questions. Yeah. About the chart, about the the schedule. About the chart. Mm -hmm. five um, Fernanda, okay, example, guys. Number one, who is who is in charge of waiting tables in the morning? Aquí está la información en el cuadro. Order takers. Hmm? Who's in charge of waiting tables in the morning? Uh, yeah, maybe. Mm -hmm. Orders taker. So what's the name of the people? So, ¿cómo respondería la, la, la pregunta? Responde la pregunta. En oración completa. Complete sentence. Who is in charge of waiting tables in the morning shift? Okay. Answer the question. Hey, Elvin, Elvin, your microphone. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Uh, Jorge Milano is in chair uh, uh, chain of 14 tape in the morning. Mm. Uh, answer the question. No, the question is, who is in charge of waiting tables in the morning? Right? So you have two people in the morning. You have two people there. No Jorge, Jorge. Milano, Jorge Milano and Carlos Guardia mm -hmm. are in chair of waiting table in the morning. Yes, correct, correct. Okay. Next. Uh, Jose? Yes. Uh, who is, yeah. who is yeah. in chair of managing the restaurant? Solo que quiero ver la tabla porque no lo tengo. Okay. What do you do? What do you What do you do? Responsibilities. Responsibilities. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, did you answer the questions? Did you answer the questions? Exercise four? Ya respondieron? No. no. Estas preguntas? 
No, no. Page 24. No. no. Tienen que responder las preguntas primero que van de acuerdo a la tabla anterior, esta tabla. La 23. Ok. Uh -huh. Y después, y después pueden hacer el ejercicio 5. Ok. Ok. Okay. What, what does Matthew do? Matthew is a waiter. Mm -hmm. He is a responsible um, of waiting tables in the restaurant. Mm -hmm. Correct. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, very good. I see that you're finished with the five questions. Okay, now go to exercise number five, which you have to um, write five questions about what you do. What do you do in your job? Write five questions um, on your own and um, after that into a question. Mm -hmm. okay. no, uh, no, no, lo vamos a hacer un poquito diferente. I want, to, I want you to tell me what you do in your job. Okay. You, you don't have to write it. If you want to just speak it, you can speak it. Uh, for example, Sabrina, what do you do? I am a secretary. Um, I make report every day, I answer, answer calls, I prepare meeting for my boss, and that's it. Excellent, very good. Do you make coffee? <laughs> no, yeah. no I don't. <laughs> okay, very good. Do you do the payroll, do finances? No, no. Okay. All right, excellent, very good. All right, guys, tell me what you do in your job, okay? Now, pueden usar también frequency adverbs, right? I usually do, I sometimes, I never. Um, you can also use time expressions. For example, um, I check, I schedule meetings twice a day. I, I send reports to my boss two times a week. Okay. And you can change it, right? You can use time expressions and uh, frequency adverbs. Okay, teacher. Okay. All right, so, so si lo quieren compartir solamente así speaking, you can do it, okay? Okay. okay. Hey, Isela, um, what did you do in your work? Uh, well, actually, um, I'm starting to to okay. work at 8 a.m. But now um, I am on onboarding process. So I have to take some trainings in the afternoon from 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. And then I have to, I have to go to verify some some teammates that are taking training. And I think that this is, I know I think that, that I have to do this at 6 a.m., 7 a.m. Okay, um, let, let me ask you, Sela, uh, uh, is this something you're going to do in the future or you're doing it now? Actually, um, Sometimes I have to do it, but now I'm still learning how to do it. Ah, okay. Entonces ahorita está como en train. You're training yeah. right now. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah. Very good. All right, and you can so, say I I am training. Um, then you can say puedes usar will, right? For example, I will be in charge of the customers. I will answer calls. I will. Yeah. Es que algo que vas a hacer, sí. You're going, you're going yeah. to do that. Mm -hmm. I, I think that, that you work work in a call center, right? Mm -hmm. I me? Yo? Yeah. Yeah, I used to work in Talus. I worked really? in Talus for seven years. Mm -hmm. <laughs> really? I worked at Sykes right now. Ah, 
you're work you're training to work at Sykes right now. Actually, um, mm -hmm. um, in the training for team manager. Ah, okay, okay, very good, excellent. Yeah, I have five years working there, but mm -hmm. we are Jocelyn and me. We're working for a Spanish account, mm, but okay. as you know, we need to to talk a little bit English. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah, for that reason, we are trying to to improve. Okay, yeah. perfect, perfect. And your your account is going to be in uh in, in Spanish or English? Actually, is bilingual, but mm -hmm. because sometimes we need to transmit some information for the mm -hmm. Philippines agents because they only speak Spanish mm -hmm. and their language. So mm -hmm. sometimes we need to translate some information that is on this on Spanish mm -hmm. to English, and all the system that we are using is on English. And Excellent. the notes that, that we have to, to add in our cases is also on English. Very good. If, if correct, on English or in English? In English. In English. Okay, thank you. Very good. Yeah. So congratulations. That's awesome. Uh, yo sé yeah. que vas a, vas a continuar estudiando. Sí, yo sé que el, mm -hmm. no vas a parar. No solamente porque ah, me piden que tenga un poco de inglés. No. You know, I, I know that you're going to continue studying English and you're maybe even study another language in the future. Yeah, actually I have to reach the 85% of English. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, excellent. So, un camino largo. <laughs> All right, but that's good. You're doing it. You're doing it. Excellent yeah. job. Uh, ¿qué, más, ¿Qué más usa inglés en el trabajo? Do you guys use, I mean, lo hablan o lo usan para que sea un poquito? Do you guys use it? Never? <laughs> only right. Spanish, only Spanish, only, only Spanish, Spanish for, okay. for this moment. All right, but, very good. But I practice English every day with my sister. She mm -hmm. lives in the US. Yes, right, very good. I speak with her a little, but okay. practice with her. But you try, yeah. Yeah, yeah I try, good. I try, yeah. That's good. You have someone to practice with and, and speak. Oh, that's very good. Does she speak good English? Yeah, she yeah. speaks English very well. Excellent, very good. I I also I well I I studied in the United States, so I I I left when I was eight years old, and I study in the United States, and that's how I learned my English, right? But but wow. I I I I think that I had a lot of um more professional vocabulary that I learned yeah. when I when I worked in TELUS because I worked uh, I worked in sales and all my clients were in the United States and they were lawyers, bankers, estaba hablando con abogados, con gente de, you know, that that's who I was speaking to, selling and I I had to learn a lot of professional vocabulary. Yeah. Right, wow. so I, I spoke native English. Know that. I spoke native English, but I learned uh, more of a professional English in working in the call center here. <laughs> yeah, because you sound very professional. It's not like uh, some guy that sounds nah. like a like, um, nigga. That's nah, correct. Nah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, something like that. But I don't yeah. know. I don't. <laughs> I understand them because I worked with a lot of people from the United States, right? I worked with a lot of people here in Telus, and I, I understand their language. I understand, uh, you know, como, like the way they speak. Hablan bastante callejero, see? I understand it, but I don't, mm, no thank you, you know? I, I want to be professional. I want to be an English teacher, right? So um, I've been, I have been teaching for 10 years, and I studied to be a teacher, see? So... Um, yo siempre me capacito, right? Uh, I go to courses, I go to training, mm -hmm. I take uh, education from the United States, I do courses online, I have experiences. So, I mean, I like to learn, you know, I like to expand. Okay. Good. But I'm, I'm glad, I'm glad that you guys are seeing that, right? Okay. Todos tienen, un po si es, es muy importante que tengan una exposición al idioma fuera de acá. Right, so like Sabrina, you speak to your sister, right? Isela, you speak to to your to your friends and and your coworkers in English. Uh, yeah. Ana, Ana, tú tienes algún algún momento donde usas el idioma? Um, 
really no uh, but um i am um, i am learned mm -hmm. um, because of future or next year is possible i will have the opportunity in my world um, to be i uh, the the position at commercial a manager commercial uh costa rica branch okay okay very good excellent so that's your goal you see that's that's your goal that you have mm -hmm. to be able to use your language to go work or study over there right so mm -hmm. ya ustedes ven que el idioma es super importante um sea que lo uses acá lo uses allá doesn't matter Right. Y qué envidia, Sabrina, porque yo hablo con right. mi hermana, pero solo en español me habla. Yeah, fíjate. Mira, this is interesting because I, I work for another academy and I have students from Costa Rica and Guatemala. And I am in El Salvador. See? So it's nowadays with English, there is no limit. You know, you, you, have, you can use English here, you can use English over there, anywhere. Mm -hmm. Okay, and in my work, um, currently I work at multiple services ahead from uh, 2009 until now. I have held different work positions during this time. Since uh, 2019. Okay, sorry, Anna, que ya, ya había puesto yeah. para que... Okay, mm -hmm. thank you very much. Excellent, excellent guys. All right, questions. Did you finish the activity? Okay, very good. All right. So uh, I was talking to different people. I was listening. I want to know what you do in your job. Uh, what are different responsibilities that you have, okay? And I was seeing that a lot of us uh, use English at work or have some kind of goal with English, right? Tenemos alguna meta con el inglés, ¿sí? Right? Um, I want to travel. I want to be able to communicate with my family. I want to go to another country. I want to apply for a better job or position. We all have a motivation, right? So no pierdan esa motivación, ¿sí? No pierdan esa motivación de querer aprender, ¿sí? Now, una cosa es querer, otra cosa tiene necesidad, pero las dos son importantes, ¿sí? Both are important, okay? ¿Sí? No, if you if you need to, right? Nimo, uh, teacher, I have to, I have to. Okay, that's okay, no problem. But uh, remember that you also have to like it. See, no es que solo necesito, es que I have to. No, I have to and I like it. Esa, esa, ya cuando se unen esas dos cosas, ya hay un interés y, un de, y, y algo que tú disfrutas. See? So that's very important. All right, let's go to the next section, guys. Tomorrow, we're going to review unit two, okay? Tomorrow we finish unit two. We're going to review unit two. And we're going to, uh, if, si ustedes tienen preguntas con algún ejercicio en la plataforma, alguna tarea, eh, tráiganla, ¿sí? So tienen que ponerse al, al día todos con las tareas. Terminen la sección dos. Finish section two, okay? All right, let's listen to this conversation, okay? I'm going to read the conversation. Good morning, Marcos. How is your day going? Pretty good. I just finished interviewing some potential employees. Then I have to talk to the staff about some changes in the schedule. I see. I saw some people in the reception when I came. Yes, I rescheduled some of them tomorrow. I need to make some calls in some minutes. Anyways, how about you? Just the usual, checking the personal, checking that the personnel is ready and ordering the inventory. I thought ordering the inventory was Janet's job. Okay. Very good. So they are describing activities that they do. Okay. Very good. Let's look at some of the phrases, right? How is your day going? Ah, esta es otra forma de decir, right? De saludar. How is your day going? Just How is your day going? Mm -hmm. Como, como te está yendo tu día, ¿sí? Very good. Pretty good. Pretty good. 
the same, right? Very good, positive, okay? Now listen to this. Here, I want you to see something. I just finished interviewing some potential employees, all right? I, I just did, finished. I it's just in the finished. past. It's I in the past. Finished. All right, I just finished. finished. I just finished interviewing finished. some potential finished. employees. Okay. Finished. Finished. Very good. So can you repeat, repeat more interviewing? Interviewing, right? I just interviewing. finished interviewing some potential employees. Interviewing some potential employees. Right? So es algo que ya terminó de hacer, ¿sí? I just finished, y aquí viene la acción, interviewing some potential clients. Okay. Then I have to talk to the staff about some changes in the schedule. Okay. I see, I saw, ¿por qué dice eso? ¿Por qué dice I see? Después dice I saw. <laughs> Esta es una expresión. ¿Qué quiere decir? Ah, I see. Ya veo. Uh -huh. yeah, lo mismo que decir, ah, ya, ya veo. Uh -huh. Es decir, ya te, te entiendo, ¿sí? All right, veo tu punto de vista. I see, I saw some people in the reception when I came. Yes, I reschedule some of them tomorrow. I need to make some calls in some minutes. Okay, yo... Esto, esto no, no le recomiendo decir esto in some minutes, sino usar esta palabra in a few minutes. Okay. I need to make some calls in a few minutes. Okay. Anyways, how about you? Just the usual. What is that? Just the usual. Sí. Estoy haciendo mi rutina diaria. Mm -hmm. Lo mismo de siempre, right? Checking that the personnel is ready and ordering the inventory. Okay. Look, quiero que vean algo. Empiezan una oración con ING. Okay. For example, checking the inventory. Right? Ordering the inventory. Perdón, checking that the personnel is ready and ordering the inventory. Okay. Now, Aquí la persona en realidad lo que está haciendo es uh, con, contrayendo, right? I am checking that, that the personnel is ready. Okay? Very good. Now, en realidad eso es lo que está diciendo la persona. Perdón, personnel. Okay? I am checking that the personnel is ready, right? Pero está quitando ese I am. Just the usual, just the usual, checking that the personnel is ready and ordering the inventory, okay? Mm -hmm. Sí, es lo mismo, él simplemente está quitando eso, sí? Mm -hmm. I, I thought ordering the inventory was Janice's job. Okay. Very good. Okay. Let's go to this section. And we're going to finish with this section here, okay? Talking about everyday tasks. Take a look at some common tasks of personnel at a restaurant. How different or similar are with yours, okay? What do people do in the restaurant? Look, personnel, people in the restaurant. Meet the head chef to review the weekly menu. Call marketing company, about promotional souvenirs. Order the inventory. Talk to the staff about changes in the schedule. Interview potential employees. Check the weekly schedule, okay? These are different things that you can do in a, someone that worked in the, in the, in the restaurant industry, okay? All right. So we're going to finish with this activity, okay? We're going to do task number five, okay? All right, task number five, write the task you do in your workplace. Then get in pairs and ask your classmate about the task he or she does in your work workplace. Compare your answers, okay? Compare your tasks, okay? 
Very good. So you're going to write your tasks and then ask your classmate, what do you do? Now you can ask different tasks in time. For example, what do you do in the mornings? Okay. What do you do in the afternoons? Okay. Very good. What do you do in the evenings? Okay. Very good. You can ask different questions. All right. And con esto terminamos. See? ¿sí? Talk about your task and ask someone what they do in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. Okay. What do you do at work? All right. Um, con eso terminamos. And then we check it. Uh, I'm going to change groups so that you can talk to different people. Okay. Okay, very good. What do you do in the morning, Sandra? Okay, microphone, microphone. No le escucho. No sé, tendrá algún problema con el audio. Huh? She doesn't open the microphone. Yeah, she has a problem with the microphone. Okay, trate de solventar eso, Sandra. Uh, Elvin, what do you do in the mornings? Uh, uh, activity in general or in my job? In your job, no, in your job. In my job, okay. Um, uh, I um, Check the email at mm -hmm. 7 a.m. Uh, mm -hmm. I check the attendance in the, my, tra my trainer. Uh, I uh, meet meeting uh, with my boss. Uh, meet? I, I meet with my boss. I, I meet with the boss. I meet with my boss. Uh, I uh, uh, check the new project uh, i um, i check uh, the i check uh, the pyro the pyro but i i, do, I don't do mm -hmm. uh, i uh, check uh, the new curve in the system Kurda or training the new people? Hey. Ah, okay. You train new people. Yeah, yeah. In the in the morning? Yeah, in the morning. Ah, man, you do a lot of things in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there, there are many activities in the morning. Uh, I uh, that that time I don't have time to finish my activity, but I try to finish some 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 activity a lot a, a lot of activity finished but i mm -hmm. don't, i i don't finish my activity that time very very necessary for me mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah excellent okay very good now preguntale a alguien aquí what do you do in the morning what do you do in the afternoon okay uh, miriam uh, what do you do in the afternoon Um, I check the emails. Okay. I check. I check. I check the item my boss. Bef uh, and before, I have to. I have to to do documents 
if my boss ordered me. Okay. And that's it. Okay. And you, okay. Kali Rania, what, what do you do during the afternoon? Uh, in the afternoon, I check emails, transport call, um, make the report, um, give give the purchase order, order how, purchase. How often do you check emails? Every day. Every day. Every mm -hmm. day. Okay. Yeah. Good. Only. And you, Jose Saul? I, in the afternoon, yep. I check email. Um, every day, I, I prepare a report um, to my boss. And I, I take a coffee. And and uh, I attend a meeting. I attend meeting. I attend meeting. Uh, and then uh, I I uh, I uh, I take a calls. I take a calls. Okay. In the evening. In the evening, I I I attend a English class. In the evening, I attend a, a English after, class. After do you do you take English class? What do you do? I go to the park. I go to the park. I play soccer. After the class. Yes. You, you study okay. English, Jose, twice? You have two classes in English? <laughs> okay, sorry, sorry. Now, si estudias inglés antes de esta clase, do you study English before this class? No? I study, I study English from 8 p.m. to... Ah, after, 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 after ah, okay. I, I go to the park because I play soccer. Really? Uh, wait, af after class, you go to the park? After the class. After the class. I Después de the la park. clase. Ay, espera. Yes. Vas al parque en la noche. Yes. 10 o'clock. Yes. <laughs> oh, my God. Interesting, interesting. Okay. Yeah. Good. And you guys? Are you Oh, okay. Um, I am sleeping. Yeah, I'm sleeping. <laughs> I am studying English. Make. And uh, make make homework. Or uh, do. Do. Ah. do. Do the I homework. Do the homework. Do the homework. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And you, Serena? Oh. I take the class uh, from 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. Before I I practice my English. Um, uh, ¿Cómo se dice repasar, teacher? O, o, o como... I review. 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 Uh, I, I review the, the, the class. And, and I, I learn more vocabulary because I need it. <laughs> Very good. Excellent, excellent. <laughs> I need it too much. Good. Um, do you guys uh, conocen alguna Okay. Uh, sorry, le estaba diciendo al grupo de, de Sabrina que eh, hay, una, hay, hay aplicaciones que puedan usar, ¿sí? Como Duolingo um, que les puede ayudar a incrementar vocabulario, ¿sí? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah, I use. Very good. It's a good, good, good to just, you know, have uh, extra vocabulary. Okay, yeah. let's do attendance quickly. And después le quiero mostrar a todos un video. Creo que lo va a motivar eh, un poquito. Solo cinco minutos le voy a quitar después. Ada, Azucena. Present, teacher. 
Ana María Chacón. Carla. Present teacher. Okay. Eh, Carla Ibania. Present. Ah, okay. Y Ana María, me, me, ¿me dijo present o no? Yes, teacher. Present. Ahí está, ok. Es que creo que había tenido un problema al inicio. ¿no? Claudia Marisela. Here. Débora Raquel. Present. Elvi Martínez. El Present. Fátima Present. López. Present. Fernando Ernesto. Present. José Antonio. Present. José Saúl. Present. Carla Janet. Present. Luis Umaña. Present. Miguel Ángel Paz. Present. Ok, hold on. Uh, Miriam Carolina. Present. Daniel Alfonso. Present. Rina Álvarez. Present. Rina Álvarez. Sabrina Latín. Present teacher. Sandra Leste Perosorto. Present. William Alexander. Present. Ok. Isela Liliana. Present. Karina Beatriz. Eh, Jocelyn Rivas. Ok, very good, guys. Le hey, sure. you... no. no te llamé, Carlos. Carlos Duarte. Ok. okay. Present teacher, Jocelyn Rivas, present. Okay, thank you, thank you very good. Okay, very good guys. Uh, let me let me just steal, le voy a quitar unos cinco minutos, okay? I want to show you a video that I found. I think it's extremely uh, valuable, it's awesome, okay? I want to show you this video and I think you're gonna like it. So let me, let me just play the video, hold on. Yeah. Okay, uh, I saw this video a long time ago, I, and I think that this is a great idea. Um, if I was a boss, right? If I was a, a hold on. if I was a boss, if I was the owner of the company, or, or if I was, uh, you know, the, the, the main boss, this is what I would force uh, tell my employees to do. This is how I would do things. Okay, I want you to pay attention to the power of of. Of, of language of the, of the English language and what it's doing in other in other uh, jobs. Okay, so hold on, let me share with you. Pueden ver este video? Can you see it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hold on. Solo voy, a, solo voy a compartir sonido. Pueden verlo ahora? Sí. Yes. Okay. For employees and their communities. In his final report from El Salvador, Fred de Sam Lazaro visits a garment factory that hires workers who are normally left out of society, including ex-gang members. It's part of Fred's series, Agents for Change. Pueden escuchar, sí? Yeah. Okay. 50,000 yeah. t-shirts and sweatshirts buzz through the sewing machines in this factory every week, bearing the seals and mascots of some 1,600 U.S. universities. Princeton, Michigan, Kenyon College. Each one, it seems, a reminder to General Manager Rodrigo Bolaños of what El Salvador desperately needs. Now, if you have an educated population, you can do something with this country. And you don't right now. 70% of the, uh, of the population have not finished school. It's one consequence of the brutal civil war of the 1980s from which El Salvador has never recovered. 75,000 people died, many more were displaced, many migrated to the U.S., and many of those deported back here have been responsible for escalating gang violence that has given this country the world's highest homicide rate. We are one of the few being left behind. We have to, as, as a country, unite and, and, and put a plan together and do it, just the way we're doing it over here. I'm working with the community to make sure that all the kids can end up in college. We offer English every half an hour. About a fifth of the 550 workers at this league sportswear factory are high school dropouts, a gap in their education that Bolaños demands they fix if they want to keep their jobs. 
failure to get their high school equivalency degree draws a stern lecture and a not too subtle threat. If you don't study, this is not a place for you. You have to study. Bolaños often brings back those he's fired if they make a new commitment to study. People deserve a second chance, he says, or a first. His workforce is a cross-section of the unlikeliest hires for a factory job in El Salvador. In this country, it's hard to find a job, especially when you have a disability. Nobody will hire you. 27-year-old Francisco Escalante is among two dozen disabled workers here. Blind since he was eight years old, Escalante works in the quality control lab. His fingers, sensitized by reading Braille, are ideally suited to detect any imperfection in the millions of feet of fabric. It's most important that the cloth is as smooth as possible. There are five different categories that I have to check in order to certify that the cloth is up to standard. Another category of workers are former gang members, identifiable by their trademark tattoos and unemployable most places because of them. 39-year-old Carlos Argueta says he was a leader in the notorious MS-13 gang, but gave up gang life when he joined an evangelical church. He told me that when he heard League Outfitters was hiring, he hid his elaborate body art for the job interview. Mr. Bolaños said, why are you dressed with long sleeves? Do you have tattoos? And I said, yes. And he said, don't worry about that anymore. That's your past. Now you have to start thinking about your future. <laughs> Argueta now works security during the day and takes intensive English classes in the plant at night. Good job. Yes, good job. He dreams that someday he'll own his own business, but for now is grateful for the job he has. If I didn't have a job like this one, I'd probably still be a part of the gang and be doing killings. I want to send the message that we need these kind of opportunities. We need prevention programs. That's what this country needs. Another former gang member, Oswaldo Enriquez, was with a rival group, the 18th Street Gang. I cannot tell you where I'd be if I hadn't gotten a chance to be here. He's now in his second year of college studying mechanical engineering. The two-year college is located inside the factory walls and is affiliated with the University of Don Bosco. Bolaño says he got the idea while in Houston, Texas, where he studied engineering. I saw the American dream uh, where, you know, lower and, and middle class uh, kids can uh, work and study at night in community colleges. And for me, um, that is a good way to resolve and to give the American dream right here in El Salvador to all these poor people. Four years ago, Bolaños created a new pipeline to get employees into this unusual garment factory college. Okay, guys, I just wanted to share that video with you. Uh, I want to show you what uh, the power of English is doing and you need to think about that, right? All of you need to think about exactly what opportunities can I have for myself and other people in English. Uh, if you saw the, 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 the boss, right? Rodrigo Bolaño, he told the students, if you don't study, this is not a place for you, right? You have to study at nighttime. You have to study either in, in a, a career in Don Bosco or you have to study English at night, right? And this is the this is the what he said. I don't know if you heard. This is the American dream. He said, right? This is the American dream. Why? Because look, in in the, in the United States, everybody works at day, studies at night, right? And you guys are studying English, and that is the most important thing you can do right now. See? So, yo sé que tienen sus carreras. I know you have your professional fields, pero ya llegaron a, a cierto punto donde dicen, tengo que estudiar. No me queda otro, see? I have to learn the language. I have to use the English, right? And um, I, I want to thank you for being here because the sacrifice and uh, everything that you do is important, okay? Uh, ese reporte tiene como hace 10 años, see? Las cosas están cambiando. Things are changing in our country, see? Young people are learning English faster, younger, okay? And most likely they're going to want your job. <laughs> 
right? Van a querer su trabajo, ¿sí? They're going to want to take your job one day. They're going to want to want to have that opportunity. They're going to want to have that, that education that you have, okay? So continue to do it. Yo, vengo, yo veo personas de todas las edades acá, pero es importante para todos nosotros, ¿sí? Right? Anything, right? I mean, yo he podido triunfar aquí en este país con el idioma. Ustedes lo pueden hacer también. Veo que muchas personas están ya preparándose para ir a otro país. ¿sí? And that, that, is, that is awesome. That's awesome. And um, I thank you for being here. ¿sí? Aquí no estamos perdiendo el tiempo. ¿sí? Cada actividad, cada proceso, cada vocabulario, everything is a stepping stone for that. Okay? So I want you to keep that in mind. Hay gente que están allá luchando también, queriendo tener esta oportunidad que ustedes tienen. ¿sí? So continue. Continue to to study and push for that goal. Todos queremos estar en un lugar mejor. Yo también, ustedes también, pero lo vamos a hacer con educación, esforzándonos, poniendo bien nuestro plan y llegando a esa meta, ¿sí? Okay? So thank you very much, guys. All right? Um, I'll see you tomorrow, okay? And uh, I don't know, uh, medium, if you can stay medium. Te agradezco si te puedes quedar un ratito, so five, ten minutes, okay? Um, Miriam, are you here? ¿Cómo está? Yes, teacher. Ah, ahí está. All right. Excellent, guys. Okay. Thank you. I'm sorry I took a little bit of your time, but I wanted to show you that. I want you to, I want you to be motivated, right? Eh, ahorita, la, lo, los jóvenes ahorita están con todo, estudiando en las academias, están llenándose con el idioma. Ellos ya manejan la tecnología como cualquiera de nosotros. Y... Y ya, ellos ya vienen atrás, ¿sí? Esa generación que viene atrás de nosotros ahorita, esa generación es increíble aquí en el país, ¿sí? So, motívanse ustedes para que no se queden atrás, ¿sí? No nos vamos a quedar atrás. All right, very good, guys. Bye. I'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Okay. okay. Have a good night. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Bye, guys. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Hello, hello, Miriam. Hello, Miriam, how are you? Hello, teacher, I'm fine. And you? Oh, very good. Okay, Miriam, tell me, how can I help you? Um, is there anything that you're struggling with? Do you need help with anything? Okay. Teacher, hey. yo solo, mm -hmm. solo quiero aprovechar para rephrase the simple person. Say, okay, perfect, perfect. Let's do it. Okay, let me uh, open a document here. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Um, voy a sacar una foto. So that we can uh, we can see it here. Okay. Okay. Look at this picture, Miriam. Yes. Uh, this is the simple present, right? Lo vamos a ver en tres, en cuatro formas, sí. Aquí te enseño tres, ya te voy a enseñar la, la, la cuarta forma, sí. La okay. primera forma es affirmatives. Affirmative. Okay. Right? Después vamos a ver negative y después vamos a ver preguntas. Yes or no questions. Okay. Okay. All right. So look, number one, simplemente decir lo que tú haces. For example, I check. I am sick. In, uh -huh. Oh, I am. Uh -huh. I am. I psychology. Okay. Very I good. Very good. Very good. Now, allí me dijiste tu profesión, sí? So I am okay. a. Uh, psychologist. Okay. I Now. am a, okay. Uh, I, examples, I check the agents, my boss. Okay. Okay. Very good. I check the, ¿qué, qué revisas? I'm sorry. Uh, I check. Agent, agenda. I check. Mm -hmm. oh, no, sorry, sorry. Check I the check agenda. Okay. The agenda. Agenda. 
Ok, very good. Solamente te voy a mostrar. Yo creo que este es el error que estás cometiendo. ¿sí? Estás confundiendo el verb to be con el simple present. Ok. Ok. So, el verb to be es para hablar de lo que tú sos o cómo te sientes. Ok. Ok. For example, I am a psychologist. That is your okay. profession. Ok. Pero ese no es el simple present. Ese es el verb to be. Y está okay. bien. Pu puedes usarlo. No, verdad, no. Lo puedes usar, pero no lo puedes usar para de describir actividades que tú haces todos los días. ¿Sí? Okay. No puedes decir, I am check the agenda. No. no okay. puedes, ahí solamente tenés que usar el sujeto y el verbo. ¿Sí? Para hablar de okay. rutinas. Okay. Si vas a hablar de lo que tú sos, sí. Right? For example, right? ¿cuántos años yes. tienes? I am 20 years old. 20, okay. Okay. Right? Ahí sí, porque es algo que tú sos. Sí. Okay. okay. So, a positive, I check the agenda. Aquí están usando el, ver, el verbo work. Y está bien, podemos usar. Mm -hmm. I work in the morning. You work in the morning. She works in the morning. Now, ¿viste aquí el cambio de la S? ¿Sí? Yes. He, she, and it. Vamos a cambiar. Vamos a ponerle la S al final. Oh, okay. Very good. So, he, she, or it. We're going to change to an S. Okay. So, aquí en estos van a, va a haber un cambio que tú vas a notar. ¿Sí? Eh, cuando estás hablando en positivo, le pones una S. Right? Uh -huh. Por ejemplo, si estuvieras hablando de tu jefe, ¿qué hace tu jefe? What does he do? She, she preparing the financial report. Very good. Very good. Entonces, lo que a ti te está afectando es el uso de los verbos. ¿sí? No, decir, no sabes si decir preparing, prepare, Prepares, okay. Okay. Right? Pero es simplemente el verbo base. Vamos a usar simplemente el verbo base en el simple present. Y le agregamos S. Okay. Y le agregamos la S. Right? So el verbo es prepare. Y después prepare. Simple, simplemente le agregamos la S. She prepares the financial report. Okay. Okay. Now vamos a negativo. I don't. Tienes que usar don't. Si vas a hablar en primera persona, don't. Okay. Por ejemplo, algo que no haces en tu trabajo. I, I don't. I don't answer the telephone. Okay. Very good. Very good. Eso es algo que no haces. Excelente. Y algo que tu jefe no hace. She, she doesn't. Uh -huh. uh, evaluating the personnel. The personnel. Personal. Or 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 personas. Quieres decir personas? O personal. No, personal. Okay. Personal. She doesn't evaluate the personnel. Okay. Very good. So, entonces, si vas a hablar en tercera persona, he, she, or it, no vamos a usar don't. Vamos a usar doesn't. Mm -hmm. Very good. Ahora vamos a hacer preguntas. ¿Sí? Right? Vamos a, te voy a preguntar a ti, por ejemplo, do you, do you check emails? Do you check emails at work? Yes, I do. Ok, very good. Ahí me respondiste, ¿sí? Yo te hice la pregunta con do y tú me yeah, respondiste respond con do. Okay. Entonces, el único cambio es cuando yo voy a hablar de mi jefe. Okay, o de otra persona. Entonces, does she check emails? Eh, she. She doesn't. No. No revisa no. correr. No. Ok. No. She. Does. Doesn't. Ahí está. ¿Sí? Okay. No, she doesn't. Ok. Very good. So, ahí está. Ese es todo el simple present. Yo creo que tú estabas confundiendo el simple present con el uso del verb to be. Okay. Yeah. Acuérdate, el verb to be es para describir lo que yo soy. El simple present es para describir lo que yo hago. 
Ok. Ahora bien, ahora viene la cuarta categoría de preguntas que sería WH questions con do. Okay. For example, uh -huh. eh, voy a usar do or does, right? Okay. Uh, what do you do at work? Ahí está una pregunta en el simple present. Uh -huh. okay. Ahora voy a preguntar lo que hace tu jefe. What does your boss do at work? Okay. Listo. Sí. Ok. Ya estas son abiertas. Ahí tenés que decir la información. Eh, la primera sería I work in Fusano. La segunda sería She doesn't. Eh, she doesn't. Algo que hace ella. She doesn't. Super no, pero pero does, does es solo para hablar en negativo. Ok. She uh -huh. does. She does eh, supervisor personal. Ok, ¿me estás diciendo lo que hace o lo que no hace? Lo que hace. Entonces no necesita does. Ok. Porque does es solamente para negativos. ¿Sí? Negativo, entonces sería sí. she... No, ¿Dónde usamos does? Mira la flecha. Does. Does, does. negativo. Pero en, neg does. en positivo no, no, hay, no hay does. Ninguna okay. elaboración entonces... en does. Uh -huh. Ok, sería she, she supervisor personal. Ok, she supervises the personnel. Person of uh, N, personnel. Ok, very good. She supervises the personnel. Ok, excellent. Okay. Ahí está todo. Sí. Okay. Entonces, lo, está, está cometiendo varios errores, pero pues aquí los estás viendo, ¿sí? El primer error era que estabas confundiendo el verb to be con el, con el simple okay. present, right? Otro error que estás que está cometiendo es, eh, estás usando does en positivo. Y solo es negativo. Okay. Solo es para pregunta y para negativo. Y otro error que por veces eh, muchas personas cometen también es no ponerle la S en el simple present. Cuando okay. estoy hablando de he, she, it, no le ponen uh -huh. la S. Okay. Eso es súper importante ahí. Ok. Y, y that's it. ¿Sí? Y por ejemplo, una pregunta así como, what does your boss do? Ahí tú tienes que elegir. Bueno, voy a hablar en positivo o negativo. Voy a decir lo que hace o lo que no hace. Entonces, si, voy okay. a elegir, si va a ser positivo, no voy a poner do or does, nada de eso. Si es negativo, entonces sí voy a poner do or doesn't. Ok, teacher. All right. Ok. Questions? Mm. Do you have any other questions? Yes, pero, pero mm -hmm. es personal. Ah, ok. Tell me what happened. Ok, lo que pasa es que mañana me van a hacer una intervención. Uh -huh. Este, dental, una cirugía de una uh -huh. cordal. Entonces, okay. mañana me, creo yo que me voy a conectar, pero no voy a poder conversar. Ah, ok, no hay problema, no hay problema. Conectate, conectate y simplemente mandame un mensaje recordando. Ah, uh -huh. ok. okay. Para que así yo, a mí se me olvidan las cosas. Por veces pienso que todo el mundo está pues, en condición de que pueda hablar. ¿va? Te, pueda que te pregunte y tú no puedas hablar. Eh, está bien, okay. este, conéctate. Okay. Si puedes responderme el present ahí. Si no, pues mándeme un mensaje. Uh, okay. Aunque pues, tú sabes que ellos, que ellos prefieren que tú puedas hablar. Pero no, no te preocupes. Conéctate si puedes, si te sientes bien. Conéctate y puedes simplemente pues, estar observando la clase y estás conectado. Ok. 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 Bueno, que te vaya bien, que te, toda la cirugía que, que salga bien, que no tengas, ¿verdad? Eh, que te puedas recuperar rápido. Imagino que vas a estar en recuperación un par de días. Mm, sí. sí. De ¿verdad? tres a cinco aproximadamente. Ok. Entonces, pues yo estoy atento. Eh, tú solo pues me dices cómo te sientes y si puedes estar conectada, conéctate. Ok. Ok. All right. ¿Cómo, y, ¿Y la plataforma? ¿Cómo vas? Eh, ya finished, teacher. Ok. Eh, section 2, ya, yeah, finish. 
Yes. Solo los foros. Ahí sí, voy retrasado. Okay. ok, no okay. problem, no problem. Yo también tengo que agregar ahí a los foros eh, información, ok. Pero lo voy a hacer okay. um, ahora mañana. Ok, very okay. good, Miriam. Thank you very much. All right. Okay. Take care. Have a good night. Have a good night, teacher. Okay. You too. Bye. Bye.